Today, we'll take a look at some mosaic inspiration, including some ceramic history and artworks. First off, what are mosaics? Mosaics are an art form that originated about 4,000 years ago in Mesopotamia. These artworks included bits of colored stone, glass, and other materials. The Greeks even used pebbles to create their designs and decorations in their mosaics. The first glazed mosaic tiles were found in Susa, which is modern day Iran. Contemporary ceramic artists create mosaics with clay, glazes, adhesive, and often grout. Ceramic mosaics can be seen often in our own communities, either on mural type walls or even just in artworks. You can think of the type of tile backsplash you might even have in your kitchen as coming from this idea of ceramic mosaic. Today, we want to know how ceramic artists create mosaics. Of course, it has to start with a design. After the design work is done, you can move into that creation phase. So you can either collect or create small pieces and tiles that you can use in your mosaic. Oftentimes, since these are flat surfaces, Ceramic artists will opt to create with slab construction. So slabs refer to flat sheets of clay that can easily be carved on, sculpted off of, and used to create. So once they've designed, they move into that creation phase where they're either collecting their pieces or creating using slabs often. And then from there, they could choose to add color or glaze and then assemble in the final stage. Some elements and principles that can go into the design of a mosaic artwork would include balance. So balance is a principle that describes how the work is laid out. Balance can have different purpose behind it. You could choose to make your mosaic symmetrical like the mosaic in this picture. You could also choose instead to make your piece asymmetrical where it wouldn't be so balanced through the middle of your piece. So just consider what type of balance you might want to show in your artwork. Space is another element of art that's really important when considering mosaics. Space refers to the distances or areas around, between, and within components of a piece. Mosaics typically include negative space in between elements of color, and oftentimes artists today will use grout to fill in that negative space. Pattern is another important principle of design, and it demonstrates repetition in either color, shape, or line. Pattern can be used for more of an organized, unified look in a piece of art. It's not required for mosaic artwork, but it can definitely be considered as inspiration. Repetition is another important principle of design, and it refers to one object or shape repeated. Repetition is definitely related to pattern. The repetition of certain design elements in a piece will bring a clear sense of unity, consistency, and cohesiveness. Take a look at some artwork examples here. All of these pieces were created with paper in this mosaic style. Some of the examples, like you can see here, are simply abstract designs using pattern and repetition, and others are still life objects like the pears in the middle. So you could pick a subject matter for your mosaic just like in the case of this sunflower on the left side. Here 
are some more artist examples. And in these cases, bottle caps were used. So something that otherwise would end up in the trash or recycling can actually be repurposed to create some really neat mosaic designs. On the left, you have a landscape from a famous piece of art, Starry Night. And on the right, you have an underwater scene. I'd really encourage you to get creative when choosing materials for your mosaic design. This could involve collecting things that you have around the house that you have access to, and even some items that might not be permanent, like the serial image on the left here. While this can definitely act as a really neat mosaic-like design, it certainly wouldn't be permanent. So this picture is really all that remains of that artwork. Likewise, the M&Ms on the far right, while well, they might have been eaten after the picture was taken, which is fine, the work of art is now that photograph of the mosaic design. Your mosaic project requirements are as followed. First off, you should be creating a mosaic-inspired artwork like some of the past artworks we looked at in this presentation. You should use repetition by collecting several items that are unified or similar. You should be choosing a background or a solid surface to build upon. For instance, in this picture, you can see that behind the cow, there's a brown background, which could have either been cardboard or could have been construction paper if the artist had it. You also need to creatively assemble all of your items and consider balance, space, and or pattern when you go to create. Mosaic projects can definitely be temporary, like that serial example. Glue or other adhesives are not required in this mosaic. Photographs should be taken of temporary artwork, however. Some basic steps for creating your mosaic at home involve the first step, which is your brainstorming session. You'll need to consider what your design will look like. Will you use abstract, organic, or geometric shapes? Will you use a photo of, as a reference to create something realistic, like a landscape, portrait, or still life. Once you've brainstormed your design, you can move on to step two. You'll wanna complete a light sketch of that basic outline of your design. So this doesn't have to have detail or shading. In fact, it shouldn't. You just wanna sketch a really basic outline of your design. Step three would be to collect or create your mosaic materials if you haven't already. So for instance, in the picture on the left, you can see the artist cutting up snips of scrap paper that they might have found. So that would be an example of kind of creating your own materials. For step four, once you have those materials collected, step four reminds you to choose a background or a surface to build on you can also use the inside of your original sketch. I would just really encourage that you lighten up the lines of your sketch so they don't show up. So that means maybe taking a race an eraser to it. Your fifth step, as you can see above in the pictures here, you want to carefully place your materials inside of your design. So again, step five, carefully placing your materials. This is where you could choose to use an adhesive if you wanna make your work more permanent. Step six, you just wanna keep filling in your mosaic until your design is complete. You can check out an ongoing example there on the right where it looks like the artist still might need to fill in with some smaller mosaic pieces and Look at that little line showing up around the heart. So that's where the tip comes into play. You don't want to have such a dark sketch that would show up in your final piece. So it's really important back at uh, step four to make sure you lighten up that line on your sketch if you're choosing to build right on top of your sketch. 
Once your piece is completed, you want to make sure you're ready to submit it. Store your mosaic safely. You'll be submitting your work later. If you have made a temporary mosaic, maybe something with food, for instance, you should take a couple quality photos of your work if you can't store it safely. So for instance, the image on the right at the top is a tree made with several different buttons. This artwork can probably be stored, so you wouldn't have to take a picture of it if you can store it safely before getting ready to submit it. However, if all those buttons belong to your favorite aunt, well, your favorite aunt might not want them getting glued down to the paper in a more permanent fashion. So that might mean you want to take a picture of it. However, you likely could store it temporarily in a safe way. On the other hand, the pictures on the bottom are artworks made from colored beans or even Tic Tacs. They should be photographed. Anytime you're working with a food item, it's really a good idea to get a picture of that item. You don't want any of your food to go bad while it's out and in progress. So now it's your time to create your own mosaic artwork. I would expect that this artwork would take you about an hour and a half. So you may use multiple class periods to complete this, but you'll definitely want to start now. I can't wait to see what you all create.